how to use Vegas Pro is the topic of today's video. If you're new, I am Tutorial Tucker. Welcome to the channel. This is a channel full of awesome tutorials, so please go and subscribe down below. Hit the like button, hit, leave a comment, and turn notifications on to be notified every time I drop a new video. I really do appreciate any support. This is a really good tutorial. I'm really happy with how it came out. I cover the main aspect of Vegas, and I think it's just a really good tutorial. And if you want to see more other video editing tutorials, please leave a like down below and other sort of just methods for Sony Vegas. Like I might go in depth to do a certain um, transition or an effect so yeah i hope this video is helpful subscribe down below and i hope you enjoy the video so as you can see we're now in sony vegas and this is where the tutorial begins right now this is currently vegas pro 16 but this will work with all versions of sony vegas um especially the newer ones and some of the older ones they're all very very similar and they're all very similar with their sort of features i find like they haven't changed anything majorly so for now this should be pretty good set for the future so if you're you know using a new version of Sony Vegas this should be fine so here we are we're first in Sony Vegas so the first thing you want to do is come up to file and go down to save as you need to save your file I find Vegas can often crash like many other vid video editing softwares so saving is absolutely key so I have a file where I literally save all my all my video edits so I'm just going to do example and uh, click enter and as you can see it's the example dot or dot vague dot Vegas so yeah that's the first thing you've gone and saved this file now to go and save i often do the quick which is just Control s um there's nothing here so it won't save much but that's just Control plus s and i often do that when i do like a cut because it's so irritating because if you forget to and you lose a bit of work it just takes ages to sort of have to re-go and make it all back up so yeah i've gone and got a clip so i'm going to go and drag my clip in so you can use project media but personally i often just drag, drag it straight into the timeline like i don't find many advantages unless i've got you know a lot of different footage from different clips but the, with at the minute with the video editing i do personally it's all pretty much um, off one or two clips i have to cut it up in different amounts so yeah let's drag this clip in and as you can see we're now here now the first thing you've probably heard about and if you personally use sony vegas everybody will tell you to do it right click on the video and go to properties and change it to disable resample um mainly because i find it has like a really i don't know what it is but it has a like it has a bit of a bad effect you don't want in your clips so yeah here's my first video it's really really easy to use it literally creates the the audio and the video tracks for you don't need to like manually right click to to do insert it'll create them for you now you can add more you could add say an extra audio track if you wanted to but what i normally do when i actually come to dragging say the music layer in that it was going to go and um it's going to go and add it for you automatically. I think I kind of skipped over the other features so quickly. The Explorer is, I don't really use that. Transitions, obviously transitions. I use a lot of sort of add-on um, transitions. So the main ones you're going to have is from down to here till the uni starts. So you get quite a few video effects. Again, I've kind of got other um, packs in, um, installed on my computer. And media generators, to be honest, I don't really use them. But I believe you can put them on top of a clip. And uh, we'll see what it looks like. I haven't really used it before. So you just get like a certain... Um, and they call that they call that a tile so yeah i don't know what it is but yeah let's go and start editing this clip up so what i not usually do is control s as you can see you can see the star and i drag it right to the start just so it's easy to render and when it comes to rendering i'll show you the best settings but all you need to do is highlight what you want to um render so you do this and it will do that so if i wanted to render this bit of black screen here you do that really really easy and uh, yeah so for now i'll just leave that there and let's jump straight into this so the first thing i often do is find where i start speaking so let's find that now so it's literally just there. So I'll press S to split, or you can right click and split like that. Um, but yeah, that's fine. So then you can drag it back and uh, I start speaking right at the start of the clip. Hey everybody, this is a quick test for the brand new editing software Shortcut, which I'm showing you how to use in today's video. And then I stop speaking there. So then obviously you're gonna make another split. So press S and then um, S again. I really hope it is where I start speaking. And then there we go, we can go and put it up like that. So then you want to keep working really your way through the whole clip. Well and how to make cuts. Um, so yeah, just keep editing it up by pressing S or you can right click and split. And just add it. But I personally don't. So I do actually kind of have like a little break here where I start speaking. So stuff like this, it's really easy to edit out. And to scroll in and out, you literally use mouse wheel. I probably should have mentioned that earlier. Um, but yeah, use a mouse wheel. I, I often zoom in and out so I can get more precise sort of cuts, I guess. So I'm going to put a split here. So right click just to show you. Split. And you can come up here, press split. So that's just a slower way. And you can right click and press delete if you don't want to use your keyboard. Like personally, I've got used to all the sort of the shortcuts on the keyboard. So yeah. And just adding music and other basic effects is can be really useful. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm showing you in this video. And then you just do another cut here where I start speaking. 
You can leave bigger gaps if you want to add a transition, which I'll probably show you, which I'm going to show you yeah, in literally two minutes. Watching, and I hope the clip's going well. And then I'm going to do another cut here. And I look forward to catching you in the next video. Yeah, and then I'll edit that one. So now we're on the final bit. Now quickly, I don't often use myself, but you can literally grab the clip here and you get this sort of little tool here and you can end, drag it like that to, to finish it off. So this is your kind of your main bit of the video. There's so much to add to it, obviously. And obviously go and do your control S to make sure it's saved because like I said before, Vegas can crash and it's so, so annoying. So the next thing I often do is actually find some music. So I'm gonna quickly go into my other folder and find some music. Now with adding music specifically to anything we publish on online, make sure you have full war what ro royalties for it, if I can speak, um, because otherwise you'll get copyright claimed and it's just really not good practice to do. So I'm gonna quickly go and find some music I have in here which is fully copyright free. If you're looking for a channel on YouTube, I recommend no copyright sounds. I use so much music from there, but you can also find loads of other music online as well. So let me find some and I'll drag it in. So here we go. We've got um, Tobu Hope NTS release. So when you drag it in, it's gonna be really, really long and really, really loud. I'll quickly show you. I really hope it is going well. So as you can hear, the, the proportions are completely out. Like you can hear the music way too loudly. And also the music isn't, it goes throughout the whole video, which is just annoying. So what I always do is grab it and make sure it's right up against the start of the video, as you can see it is. And I may actually clip it just a bit so the music's playing. That's what I often find, like people sometimes use music from the start of the music in their video, but sometimes you want to put it a bit further throughout the music because otherwise um, you're going to have sort of like the, the start of the music and not the middle bit, which is often the best part of the music. So yeah, let's go and see how this sounds. This is a quick Perfect. So now what you want to do is make sure the sound is the right sound for how your your speaking volume is. So you could go and increase the volume by using this, uh, which increases it for the whole track. But personally, I often just use this where you can grab it like that because it's, the music's all one piece. But say if I wanted to increase this whole volume of this, you can't increase volume here, you can only decrease it. But if I wanted to decrease this whole track, you just do that and it does minus 26 to all of these. Because if I wanted to do minus 26 on all of the others, I would have to go and drag them all down and line up perfectly. So it is easier to use this when um, lowering the volume um, because you can do it all at once and increasing the volume, sorry. So put that back to zero and decrease this to like minus 26, like I said before, and we'll see how it Brand sounds. New editing software shortcut, which I'm sure I see it's absolutely perfect. So yeah, we can Brand watch this throughout. Software shortcut, which I'm showing you how to use in today's video. I really hope it is going well and how to make cuts because I know cuts can be quite hard to edit and just adding music and other basic effects is can be really useful. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm showing you in this video. So yeah. So that sounds absolutely perfect to me. And now because this is the end of the clip here, I'm going to go and move the dragger, not the dragger, the cursor, I guess, and put it there and then press S again, split. And now we've got a kind of little bit of video here. So obviously press save again, control S, all go up here and press save like that. And it goes and saves it for you. So the next thing is sort of adding more effects to it. So what a good video is made up of is good effects. I say good transitions. It keeps the viewer engaged and they just really enjoy it overall. So what I'm going to add next is I think I'm going to go and add a green screen effect, which is really, really cool. So I'm going to do an insert video track and insert audio track. You can do these up here. So I wanted to show you that. So you can come up here and do insert and then go and save again. And I'm going to go and find a green, green screen transition and show you how to use it. So I'm just getting my green screen clip right now and here it is, here we go. So it's essentially a green screen clip is one which has got a green background which you can then cut that out and put it on top of a video. So we can just have this white box with the, with the like button and in a minute I've got a subscribe button and I think it looks really, really nice personally. So of course, whenever you put a clip in here, click on the, the video part, right click, properties, disable resample, so, so important. And now as you can see, if I try and drag that in, it's gonna clash and it's just gonna do in like a fade. Video. Uh, which obviously I want it to be on top. So how to do that, you want to grab the top video and drag it up to the top layer. And then you've got to drag the the, video, the audio one separately. So make sure you click off it, click it again, and then you can drag that down just like so. So now we've got it spread apart and it will go straight over the video. And we can then choose where we want it. So I'm going to go for about here, I think. And uh, we'll see how that looks. Perfect. So then what we do is go to video effects and scroll down until you see chroma key, which is just um, here. Perfect. So then you've got default. Now it does give you an automatic green screen, but every green is slightly different. It's really annoying, but every green is slightly different. So I always use a default because it just allows you to have, to go and choose the actual green. Um, I think you can, but I use, always use default. So click it and drag it onto the clip. And then you've got this. So currently it's got your blue. 
click on the blue, click on this little, um, it's like a, it basically will, it will detect the color and it will cut it perfectly for you. So now that's perfect. And if we just done a general green, you would still see some so of the background shortcut, layer. Which I'm sure so it just looks really, really good. Video. I really hope it is going And then you can well hear the sound as well. Cuts. And that's absolutely perfect. So I may push that a bit further. I don't know, I'll leave it where it was. Perfect. So now the next thing is, is adding transitions and some more effects. So all you want to do is go to where you want to have your first transition and go to transitions, obviously, and um, go and find one you're interested in. So for this example, I'm going to do one which is normally included in Sony Vegas, which is like a push. Um, so let's find one like push left and just grab it and drag it in. And as you can see, you could then get this pop up here. You can change the direction. So you could do up, right. I'm going to do right. And just show you that you can change it and then we can look Everybody, at it this is a quick now for me that goes way too slowly like you know it just takes Everybody, a long time it takes i guess up to like what 0 0.03 of a second a third of a second i don't know but anyway you want to come on to push and you'll get this sort of little you'll get like um 90 degrees of a circle if that makes it like a semicircle. you can grab it and make the push a lot shorter like personally i like a really quick push uh, now hey, let's preview perfect and then you can go and add a sound effect so what i'm going to do is grab a little whoosh uh, I really like these sound effects. They're all on YouTube. Just search up Woosh and you can find some. And uh, make sure we go and go up just by using this. What I do to move um, between the tracks is do control and then do um, your mouse wheel and you can scroll up and down or you can just use this one. Depends what you want. So yeah, then let's look quickly look at this. Make sure we've got the Woosh actually where the, the animation is. So we'll just drag that a bit and then we can play hey, it. Everybody. And as you can see, the whoosh goes with the slide, just make, giving it more sort of value, I guess. And then, well, yeah, that's the thing. So you can add more transitions between the clips, but you sort of get the idea. And then at the end, I usually do sort of a fade as well, so it fades with the audio. Because at the minute, it sort of suddenly comes to an abrupt yeah. end. Like, the music just comes to a complete abrupt end, which I really don't like. So what I'm going to do is come to the music. Now, with this little bar, because we've changed the volume, you need to move lower down to get the fade. So then you grab it, and you can drag it like that. And where the darker zone is, that is sort of, like, where the fade begins. Next video. And I'm going to do that for the video as well, and have it all at the same place. So we'll quickly do that now. It won't take a minute. Actually, they're a bit of an out of line, my bad. Um, but you kind of get the idea. Let's play it now. And I look forward to what, catching you in the next video. Yeah, and that's sort of the main thing. Now, there are video um, effects as well. So, say you've got blurs here, which is useful. So, if you want to say blur a clip, we can put it in here. And then this whole clip is going to have the extreme blur. To catch and then to undo, just like a normal Windows thing, you do Control Z and uh, you've got it there. So, we've also got loads of other effects like color, certain color effects. And you've got so many effects here which you can take advantage of. So, yeah, I hope you do find this video useful. It took me a while to make. So, they're the main things. You've got so many other um, effects, but I don't really know like where to start with showing you them all. You've sort of got to test yourself, but you've got film grain, which is really cool as well. That sort of adds like the old effect to it. Um, as you we'll can see, we'll play it. The next video. Video. That's sort of the main thing. So, I think that is like a decent clip. Now, to render it, all you want to do is go up over it. And then grab the you when you go up just above the timeline, you'll get this little sort of a mouse with a with a, an arrow. So you want to just drag it like so, and you cover all the clips. If you do it wrong, don't worry. You can just grab the yellow thing and be a bit more precise. And uh, yeah, that's the next thing. So then you want to do Control S and go and do File and do Render As. Then you'll get this pop up here. So what I recommend is go to Magic's AF. FC slash AAC MP4. Now this does vary depending on what version of Vegas you're using, but just make sure you find one which is MP4, and uh, then I'll show you the next setting. So often I upload my my videos in 1080p, 30 FPS. I don't worry about the Nvidia NVENC. I just do the standard one. Um, you can go to 720p, and you can go up to 60 or 50 FPS. You can go up to 4K. There are so many options. I personally always just do an Internet HD. Um, 1080p 30fps and go and click render so yeah hope you've enjoyed this video if you have found it useful please smash a like subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one peace